Yo, 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 I'm back at it with another one. So today I'm going to show you how to use the step sequencer in Studio One 5. Um, I'm showing it because I've had a few questions about uh, the step sequencer. Um, it's basically almost like FL Studio. Uh, in my opinion, it's a little bit better. But that's just my opinion, because I guess I'm, I got so used to it. Um, so I'm not going to waste your time, like I always say. So let's work. All right. So I got these sounds already preloaded from my drum kit. Uh, let's see. I have hi-hats here. So um, there's different ways to get to the step sequencer. Um, I think it's, yeah. it's under event. If you click on event and go to insert pattern. All right, so um, that will open the the pattern and double click on it or open your step sequencer. First, it's gonna take you to this, which is like a piano roll version of the step sequencer, but you want the drum drum mode. So you click on drum mode, and it's gonna show you all the notes basically. Um, but you wanna start with C three, which is the root note. All right, uh, it's gonna sound low. Normalize that. All right, so and then you just draw in the notes you want. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple. We're not trying to make anything crazy. Uh, let's loop this. All right. Um. So in the bottom left hand corner, where it says Show and High Automation. If you click it, it opens a bunch of different uh, options for you. Uh, this is the velocity, which you can lower it to give it a little bit more groove. All right, and repeat. So repeat basically just do like rolls. If you're doing like trap beats or whatever other beat that needs a, <laughs> a hat roll. Uh, let's see where we're going to put it. Uh, this one all right and as a delay the delay uh, basically it just you could make the the sound comes before the beat or after the beat. If you raise it up, it's going to go after. And if you lower, it comes before. It comes in early. Alright, you see? All right, um, we're gonna open an, another um track. All right, like I said, like I told you, there's two ways that I know of to open the uh, the uh, step sequence uh, step, step sequencer pattern. The other way, the other way is if you hold Control uh, Control Shift and P. That's the shortcut for it. Um, it's gonna open it. Make sure you click on the track first before you do the shortcut. Uh, for Mac, I'm not sure. I think it's uh, Command Shift and P. Yeah, most likely that's what it is. But I'm on the window, so all right. So we're gonna open this. All right. So we're gonna throw some high hats in here. I mean, some open hats. All right. So. When it comes to like the open hat, you need it to be um to be longer. In order to do this, you have to go back to the um the melodic mode of the step sequencer. You go there, so just hold and drag. Alright, there's another thing I need to show you. Um you could add like an accent to the to the to the sound. 
if you like, if you hold control when you clicking in, you see the little drumstick show up where the drumstick is. I have the little, I don't know what you call that, but if you click on it, it'll show up like this. It just add, add a little extra to the um, sound for you. It's like an accent. Uh, I don't know if, if you ever play um, a real drum. I'm going to open another track. Let's see. Um, all right, so the last option on here, uh, this is if you want the sound to come on sometimes. So every time the, the bar loops, you could put how what's the chance of the sound to play all right so if i lower it so there's like a 30 32 percent chance that other sound will play every time the bar loops um if you want it to be often maybe you want to pull like 63 Also, you're not limited to those four options. You can always add more if you click right here. And let's see, filter, cut off. No, nah, I don't want that. Um, reverb. Mix. Nope. Uh, pitch. Nope, that's not what I want either. Oh, transpose. All right, let's use the transpose button. So you can add that. All right, All right let's close. All right, we're gonna use this. All right, if you want, you could transpose the um sound. Let's say we're gonna lower it. All right, so basically, basically that option, basically, don't, basically what it does is it's like an automation. Instead of actually going to the um, your automation, I'm gonna open automation. Uh, my automation. Yeah, I don't have anything to on right now. I don't have anything on right now. But, but basically, instead of doing the automation in here, you could do it through the uh. The, the drum step sequencer basically um that's up to you how you want to use it i just think that doing a step sequencer gives you a lot more um, option to uh, play around with your sound and also also if you don't want to be limited to just the one note you can go back and just mess around with this Um, yeah, okay. So, up here, there's swing. It's almost just like FL Studio. You have that little knob on top of the step sequencer. You can use that to, um, to add more groove to the, um, to the beat. Um, I mostly use that when I'm doing like regular hip hop or east coast type beat i'll use that a lot to add more swing to the sound let's 
the one now. I had. That was cool. You see how it changed? Also, you got the resolution. It basically play the sound with, you know, depends on the resolution. If you want it to be slower, you should choose this, um, like one, one fourth would be slower than one eighth, then one sixteenth, and so on and so forth. Most of the time it's going to be on one sixteenth, but you could slower and let the rest of the stuff run at normal speed. It doesn't sound good right now, but, you know, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Alright, another thing is, let's say you have a pattern, and you want to change it when it comes over here, on this this part of the beat. What you could do is, you could go here, and it gives you option to start a, new, a brand new new one, or you could just duplicate the one you already have. Uh, for me, I usually just duplicate it, and then change it to whatever I need. Alright. And then so, see right here, so in order to access it, you're going to see the little thing pop up right here. Uh, on the regular one, you're going to see like a little Pac-Man ghost looking thing on the bottom. But once you put more than one um, pattern, you're going to you're gonna get this little part right here. And you click on it, so now you could change it between one or two. Uh, you can also name it so you can know which one is which. Let's say hat one and hat two. So when it, so you can just go right here. See hat one. Also, you can save it. I give you the option to store it, so that way you don't have to keep doing it you could use it for like another project if you like but mm, I don't really do that I just use a brand new one every time so yeah and you can also delete it if you like um, like I said if you want to create a new um, variation you just click it right here it opens a brand new one and then you can just mess around with it all right that's it